Let us pray again. Heavenly Father, we come to you and recognize your infinite qualities. You have power to do anything. You created this universe by your word. Your justice is perfect. Your love is infinite in quantity and quality. You define grace. Your purity is total and your hate of sin is absolute. Nobody or nothing can withstand you when you act in your perfectly proportioned anger. Your dear Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, showed these qualities when he lived his perfect human life. And thus, we come in confidence with prayers of intercession to he who is able to change things on every level with one exception. You yourself can never change, and we rejoice at that. We ask you to show mercy to all who have been affected by war and persecution. Millions have fled from situations of danger, and we pray that they will get the aid that they need. We recognize that the nations are like a drop in a bucket to you. And so we commit the situation in the Ukraine to you in the knowledge that you have a plan for the political dynasties of this world. Men have the power to destroy the earth at the press of a button, but they cannot press that button unless you allow them. We pray for peace and in the terms that you want. Many are living in danger because of their faith, whether it is through pressures to convert to another faith or being hated by, by others because their lives show up their sins. We pray for those who are serving you by being faithful in other places. We think of those at home who are suffering for Jesus because they're taking a stand. They don't fit into the world's mold. Lord, give them the courage to keep going. Earlier, we thought of those who have never heard of Jesus and his offer of salvation. We pray for your servants as they bring them that message. For some, there will, be not, will not be opportunities to preach, but their job is to show your love in action as they teach, bring healing, care for orphans, or bring clean water. May that lead many to ask why they're doing this, and may they find you. There are many needs at home. We have a parish from which only a few people find their way to our church. Show us how to reach out with the gospel. We thank you for the students who come, and may they turn to you in these days of opportunity. Bless the work to bring them that message, as we pray for Sarah and Men Gwen as they serve you in this. There are personal needs, but you know them, Lord. Those who are unwell, whether obvious or not, whether it's physical or mental, be close to them, Lord, healing and giving strength to stay patient through their treatment. Grant your love to those who mourn, those who have been hurt, those who are worried, and enable them and enable us to give them help wherever we can. We thank you for our dear Minister Ben, as he and his family take a break. We ask that they will be totally refreshed and strengthened to come back for Easter. We pray for Ben's father and Heather's father, that you would show mercy in their sufferings and bring healing. Please give Ben and our other leaders the wisdom to take things forward as we seek to See your church built up for further days. Lead us to do your good and perfect will. And so, to the preaching of your word. Give us ears to hear and hearts to respond to what your servant Michael has been led by the Holy Spirit to say. Change us that we may be more loving, more willing, more usable, 
and thus bring you the glory that is rightfully yours. And we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. We continue our praises with O Jesus Christ, forever new. 